Hello everyone, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is the second half of our Tati tutorial for Erica video. Um, and today we'll be doing the face. So if you watch Monday and you don't know how to do your face, you're in the right place. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I got here. All right, everybody, let's get started on the face part of Tati's tutorial. So she started off, I already primed my face as if you got watched the Monday video with the eyes. I primed my face first and then I cleaned up my eyes and I put just a little bit more of my base tape primer back under my eyes where I had wiped it off. So now we are going to go in with the first thing she used was the RCMA palette VK number 11, which I have. And I believe she said she used this row right here. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to grab this little brush and I'm just going to kind of go across these, get some of this on here, basically all the way back and forth across the top. And then I'm just going to, you just want to figure out how you want to chisel out your cheek and then just go at it. I'm doing it a little too high, I believe. And it's a little too orange. So let's just get some darker colors in here. That's better. Let's grab these and these. See if we can keep some of that orange out of there. This one's still pretty orange, so go in with a little bit more of this darker color. Actually, I think she did go back in with darker after she got the initial chisel in there. And then we're going to go back in with the darkest, this one right here in this palette and see if I can get it on this brush and just put it right here on the back part because that's what she did. Okay, and now I'm going to take my sponge and I'm just going to pat, pat, pat around the edges of this because I don't want to take it off. I just want it to blend up a little bit and I'm going to pull it up too. And that's it. Okay, and now what else did she do? Okay, now we're going to do the nose. And for the nose, I am going to use, I think I'm going to use this dark color right here, just straight on. And I'm going to use this Eco Tools brush. I'm going to use the angled end of it. Now, she said start at the middle of your nostril. Well, I'm not going to do that because that's way too wide. I'm just going to start at the inner part of my nostril and stamp up. because I just don't want it. I want it very narrow. And I don't want it down that far either. I should probably look in this mirror. And I actually think I'm going to switch colors because that one looks really yellow. So I'm just going to take that off because I don't like that color and I'm going to go to this one over here that I've used most of it up of and get some of it because it's a little cooler tone than that one and that's what she said she said start down here seem to be making my nose crooked. We don't want that. 
So we're just going to nip it right there, try and straighten it out. Hers looked a lot better than mine. But and then we're going to do it under our lip. I think I'm going to ask Santa Claus for lips. for Christmas. And that just gives us a little bit more lip. I don't know about that nose. But we're just going to go with it. Um, what was next? I think I'm going to use um, my Jordana because those seem really orange and yellow. So I'm just going to take a little of this on my sponge and then just do my hairline. And my temples, my jawline a little bit. Soften up the end of my nose. Now I'm going to take and do my, I think it's foundation next. Yep, next is foundation. And for foundation, she used the 24 hour L'Oreal, so that's what I'm gonna use. And she used a stippling brush and she just dipped it in there and then she just kinda went like this and really, really got it into the brush. And then she went on her hand. This seems really yellow too. And then she just started, oh, but she just did it really light. And I'm not worried about getting it too close under my eyes because I am going to put some concealer under there. And I'm obviously going to have to put some on my nose too. She did not but I have redness around the edges of my nose and I think I need it. And I'm using really, really light hand on this. So it's mostly, you know, it's, it's down in the brush, so it's, it's working really well. I wish I'd used a lighter foundation but it's looking good so far except that I do need more concealer than her because I still think my nose is too red so I am going to now go in with concealer I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape I need to move this palette so I don't stick my arm in it and I'm just gonna put a little bit, I know you guys can't believe that, huh? But I'm just gonna put a little in this under eye area, like three or four dots. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit around my nose. 
and that's it. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna blend that in and it's gonna be gorgeous. brush hairs out here or cat hairs I'm not sure which it is <laughs> I think it's cat hairs I actually need a little bit right there on that spot too I have a couple of spots actually looks really good I could have used a pore filling primer though for sure, it's very glowy, huh? Okay, what's next? It's gotta be powder. So we're gonna use our Bye Bye Pores, of course. And I'm just gonna get a little bit. And I think I'm gonna use this brush right here to do my under eye. I know I usually use my sponge and I like using my sponge, but she used the brush, so that's what we're going to use. And it looks amazing. But I'm going to go, she only did it under her eyes. I'm going to go down here too. And all these wrinkles. Now I'm going to take my powder brush and put this on the rest of my face. Just kind of lightly everywhere. <coughs> what do you guys think? You like it? Not done yet, but. And this next step, well, not the next step. The next step is um, bronzer. And I'm pretty sure the bronzer is going to look great. But the step after that, I'm not sure about. I'm using the Hula bronzer and I'm basically just going to put it like everywhere I put my other stuff. So that's that. Now she did this and we're just going to see how this turns out. Oof. Um, she put on a cream blush and I'm going to use this. This is Blushing Bride from Tarte and it's very old, but I'm not going to put much on. I'm just going to stipple it on and I don't like to bring it too far forward because my skin is too loose too far forward and that's all I'm going to do for blush is that little bit right there and then I'm going to go back in with my bronzer brush or actually my sponge first and just kind of Make sure it's blended, which you can barely see it, 
which is good. And then I'm just going to run some bronzer over it. And then I'm going to go in with some highlight. For my highlight, I'm going to use Moonstone. I really like this one. It's a Becca. And I'm going to use... I had a big old fan brush. Here it is. She had a Scott Barnes one. I don't, but I have a Eco Tools, and so I'm just going to get some of this on here. Tap it off. Figure out where I want it. like that. Actually, I don't think that's enough. I can't even see any highlight on my nose. She was probably using, oh, she was using, um, I'm just going to use my finger. She was using Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette thing, which I don't have. So we're just going to go with this. Okay, so I'm going to take this and just kind of blend everything together. And then I'm going to spray my face with my Morphe spray. And then I'm going to put on some lipstick. And for lipstick, I'm going to use this. What is this? Superstay Ink Crayon. And I'm just going to color it in. like that. And then I'm going to put a little bit of my uh, Shall We Dance from L'Oreal in the center. Just like she did. She went like this. And that is it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, that's it. Because I don't like anything underneath my eyes. This is where I would go back in and put some under my eyes, but I like it just the way it is. So I'm just going to leave it. I think it turned out pretty good. What do you guys think? Do you think I look like Tati? <laughs> like Tati's mother, maybe, huh? I think I could be Tati's mother. I think I have a child that's probably the same age as her. In fact, I'm sure of it. So, do I look like Tati's mother? Could I be Tati's mother? I think so. Not saying anything against Tati's mother. She has a mother and I'm sure she's wonderful. So, but I love it. I think it turned out really well. Probably should have blended my ear in a little bit more. Oh, I didn't wear earrings either. That's probably good though. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah!